Mr. M. Siddiqui Rahman, Director of Tata Power on stage, please give a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, for him. Good morning, uh, Madam Lucy dignitaries on the dais and all the participants in uh, today's uh, great event. As I can see, as I can see uh, from the arrangement of this uh, particular event, it is coming together of great minds of the entire ecosystem. I am reminded of a very famous quote of uh, Henry Ford, uh, the, cha the chairman of Ford Corporation, who says, coming together is beginning, staying together is progress, and working together is success. The problems uh, before sustainability is very well known. And in the words of ex-US President Barack Obama, it's here and now. That is well understood by the uh, institution, by the academia, and by the real estate builder, by the generator, and all organizers and participants in this event. Here I stand before you as uh, chief projects of uh, Tata Power uh, Generation Business. I would, as, as an organization, I will show as an organization what all we do and how we uphold uh, the sustainability aspect uh, of the entire generation cluster or the entire generation system, power generation system or the business. Like uh, we have hydro generating systems at Dira, Khopoli, Bridpuri. We have our thermal assets at Mundra, Trombe, Jamshedpur. Jojobeda, that is adjacent to Jamshedpur, Maithan, and Prayagraj. We have a west-based uh, uh, gener power generation system at Kalinganagar, which is in the state of Odisha. Our sustainability objectives are around people, planet, and profit, which is very well established, very well laid down. It's not one for the other, but it is in such a way that the one augments the other. So that uh, our, uh, the, the people around us and uh, taking care of the planet and the profitability of our business are all well taken care of. So while doing that, we follow uh, the rating by all the rating organizations in the environmental, social, and govern governance field, where all the well-known names, they participate in rating our governance structure, our social contribution and how do we take care of our environment you can see all big names in the in the field and in the ecosystem are there be it Tricil, be it cdp be it the reuter be it snp global and in the social field also we we train we train the human being uh, we serve the customers in terms of power supply and power generation and we have a substantial csr spend in this area and we have at present the clean energy portfolio of 38 percent and a huge number of saplings which are uh, planted all across the locations and greenhouse uh, gas emission reduction that also we have been able to contain to the tune of 20 percent and we have also aligned on science-based target initiative which is mandatory however we take uh, lead in this particular aspect. Now, I, as I uh, present before you as the chief of project, so these are our area of uh, activities all across the locations, and in each of which 
we are very much concerned we are we are working in the field of emission control system the flue gas desulfurization and denox system as well as uh, emission free generation system that we are setting up and over the years we have been working in all these uh, particular areas of generation be it solar be it wind be it in the hydro projects and in the thermal cluster also that was the time when thermal generation was uh, the only norm of generation but even those days uh, was the predominant norm of generation but even from those days we have been pioneering uh, in the other sustainable modes of generation like solar wind and hydro and we are going to take a lead uh, in the nation in terms of uh, setting up uh, uh, pump storage based hydro system also uh, while taking up business as usual we take uh, very good care of our employees which is also a step towards sustainability. So this statistics shows uh, how we take care of our employees through uh, employee satisfaction scores and which over the years have been uh, steadily increasing, increasing, increased from uh, FI27 to FI23 by 10 percentage points. And also, uh, it's, it's not that overall employee satisfaction system, we go into various components of that, we analyze and we work on whichever areas those are needed to be improved, be it in the senior leadership action plan, be it towards the customer focus or be it the overall score of that. In, in all uh, sectors, there has been steadily increase so that employees are happy with us and they seem to be contributing towards sustainability. Now we will uh, come to the, the, the basic purpose of my today's presentation that is how we safeguard safety in various high risk, high altitude and uh, walks in the con congested areas. All our employees start their day with a particular safety oath that we believe in the company vision of being a no harm organization, no harm of any of our stakeholders achieve that, to, ach to achieve a no harm uh, kind of project execution setup, it calls for actions in various areas. So those areas are identified as leadership focus. As part of the leadership focus, we synergize with a lot of our group entities to find their break, uh, best practices and how we can improve our practices. Various project control methods like making our work sites, even our congested brownfield worksite as the best in, uh, in their work. And even for the around the clock activities, we have a uh, lot of watch, ward and control. We do regular capability building because as part of the project execution, we need to rely heavily on the workforce prevailing in the country. So we develop them through L1, L2, L3 level training and behavioral training. We do regular revalidation of the workforce and the safety positive behavior also we uh, reinforce. Also, we focus on digitalization and innovation by doing a lot of artificial intelligence implementation. These are uh, some evidences which show how we practice at the global best level. This happened earlier this year when as a project organization for the first time we were awarded uh, as, as the gold award, gold rated award by the World Safety Organization. These are the various steps that we follow, uh, how to ensure from the concept to commissioning. Our entire projects are monitored from concept to commissioning towards the best and safest way. These are some of the steps uh, through which we do not leave anything to chances and we make them the best possible safety managed project execution. Also, these are evidences how we synergize with the different components of the business, like our EPC partners, uh, Tata Steel, who are our end users, our uh, project teams, and all uh, partners in the ecosystem, we synergize and we try to develop better safety practices. Also, I, as I was talking about the artificial intelligence, 
implementation of artificial intelligence that we have done through marrying the CCTV camera system with artificial intelligence so that on round the clock basis around the year we can improve the safety practices and there is zero LTIFR, zero fatality, zero adversity at the site. So it takes care of all such aberrations through notifications and escalations uh, utilizing artificial intelligence. These are some of the examples at how in all our remote stations we take a very good note of whatever is happening in safety and how uh, through safety improvements, we call them step changes, safety interventions and horizontal deployment. Through all that, we can improve the prevailing uh, safety practices to improve the safety practices so that uh, nobody in our premises is hurt or harmed. Also, in uh, most of the cases, even, even uh, down to earth executions, we encourage a lot of innovation, digitalization, and the out of box thinking. These improvements show even the workmen at the down below, they have suggested some improvements which has enhanced the safety standards and safety culture. I think that is all that I wanted to share with you uh, this morning. So the essence is this, when we make the people feel safe in their organization, they feel oneness with the system and they tend to contribute more and more to improve the safety practices and they contribute in ESG and development, developing an emission free ecosystem. That's all, thank you for patient hearing. 11th edition of Global Safety Summit. For us, all of you are winners because everyone is embarked on this journey. Definitely from here, we will start achieving what we are discussing.